What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back to continue our Darksiders 3 playthrough. And we've already got a deadly sin on the map. I'm going to assume it being red means I should probably level up before challenging it. I knew that war would one day unleash all this. But seeing it, <laughs> his gifts are impressive. May I remind you, mistress, that you have no peace among your horsemen, brethren. I don't get what the point of popping those now would be. Okay, hello. Okay. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but the basic enemies seem to be, you know, at least feasibly easy. Objectively, they're pretty easy. Oh, that was a fail. But, the question is, what's gonna happen when I don't, like, two-shot an enemy? Because right now you can just use spacing and pretty much destroy everything. Oh my gosh. So I never actually got back to it in the last episode, but I was talking about how I saw one review, uh, and that was ACGs, which is about the only reviews that I... What is this? I watch or listen to? Okay, so this looks like probably something you gotta come back to. Um... But my point being is that I watched his review, and he said that there's a lot of enemies behind corners. So I don't know... Okay, that enemy just jumped right through me. I don't know how much of this game is purely linear, and how much you can deviate off of... Because, like, obviously this isn't the correct area. And going here's point was to get me a medium lurcher thing. But that's pretty much all that was here, I guess. There's this area down here. Ooh. Ooh! They got the double hit off on me. Tried to get a little greedy there, and that was not smart. Should probably heal. Okay, so like now I could go this way, but there was also this way back here. With items, or one item, I don't... Uh, I don't think I could get over there. Maybe I could? What am I hearing? Hearing enemies getting ready to jump down. Oh, okay. Dodge back. I gotta get. I gotta be less greedy. I'm getting like greedy with. Uh, I'm getting greedy with when I want to attack and whatnot. Okay, I guess I can't get up there. If I can't get up, I definitely can't make that jump. I definitely cannot double jump and make that. So it looks like there's some off-branching areas. Um, I'm going to drink this because it refills. As always, my mic sits, like, right down here. And so it, so if you ever see me, like, leaning, I'm looking at what's in the bottom left corner. Ooh, we go into a little first person here. A little different. I don't know. I, I guess it makes sense because in third person it would look really stupid, but... Definitely gotta angle your attacks, because you can knock enemies out of the air. So you definitely gotta be prepared to angle your attacks. Come and get it, buddy. 
Oh, you've got a ranged attack. Are you gonna come up? Okay. And I whipped that. Hold on. Dang it, I did not want to get hit by that. I mean, if you're gonna sit back there, I'm gonna split the enemies up and deal with you separately. Really? Chill. Let me get it. I mean, the singular enemies are pretty not easy, but they're they're easy to to kind of solo them or to single them out, and then I'm missing an item to break that. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a little bit tougher of an area. We got a bigger enemy over there. So I'm going to go... I'm going to take it this way. Okay, I'm going to get up here. Do not want one behind me. That's not what I want. I'm knocked out of the air. Really? Come here, buddy. Dodge in. Okay, drink my Nephilim's, or pop my Nephilim's Respite. Ooh, this didn't give me health this time. Okay, so now... Perhaps there are human survivors. Not my concern, Watcher. Totally missed this item. So we have 11,000, or not 1,100 uh, skulls. I'm gonna dodge back, because I don't want to get... I didn't know if there'd be an, another enemy lurking right there. If I was playing on a lower difficulty, I would probably not be so cautious. But because of the difficulty that I'm playing on, I... That tree, it's impressive. But is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there. I'm talking about you got to be on your toes i got to be on my toes because i i can't be taking like i can't be given the the ai of the computer free hits on me so i want to go fight the big guy out here because why not Oh my gosh, okay. Let's go. Oh my oh my god. I barked up the wrong tree. I barked up the wrong tree. I need a I need a healing shard. Pop one of these. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Totally messed that up. He hits like a freaking truck. Go into your one like weird. Oh my gosh. That thing hits like a freaking truck. It does like three fourths of my health bar. That's a that's a large yikes. I was not I was not prepared for that level of smack from that guy when he hit me the first time. Oh good, we spawn all the way back here. I'm so happy about this. So we lose all of our skulls, but like, can I get them back? Like, is that a thing? Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have, I have done a thing here. Alright, I lost him. Man, you spawn way back. Maybe I'll be a little bit more intelligent with my decisions, son. Cause you're you're going like way back.
So you're looking... So, okay. So the good thing is now is that I know what the checkpoints look like. I'm gonna have to fight these enemies again. I forgot you're in the corner, bro. Oh, you're not dead. I thought for sure you'd be dead. Come and get it, buddy. I want little guy, get up here. I know you'll chase me all the way up here. Ooh. Man, it's all, it's all about those perfectly timed dodges. Every time. It's always about the perfectly timed dodges. I keep thinking those guys are dead when they're not dead. Okay, so there are my souls to be reclaimed. Come here. Really? You jumped away? Come back here! Oh my god, stop it. Please don't wake up, big boy over there. Don't do it. Okay, we're back. We're back. Now, do I want to fight big boy over there? That's the real question. Could just grab the item and run. I truly think I can do this. Like, I truly think I'm gonna do it. Whatever. Let's dance. Oh, God. I'm in a corner of death. I'm in the corner of death and despair. dodged too early. And I definitely dodged too early there. How do you have so much health? Dang it, dude. That attack always gets me. How are you still alive? You got like the most health of any... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. The thing's got so much health, that's ridiculous. Fortify... Oh, it was worth it. Fortifier enhancement. Enhancements can be socketed into weapons from your inventory. Weapon inventory. A socketed enhancement will confer an active benefit to the weapon and a passive benefit to fury. Beautiful. That's good. I'm happy they at least there's at least a benefit to fighting that idiot. Um, how do I? Um. Okay. Plus three percent physical and arcane damage with this weapon. Plus five percent health. Obviously, got a sack at that. All right. Is there a way to unequip stuff from my hotbar? I I guess not. I, I guess there's. Oh my gosh! I forgot this dude was in here. Hold on. Hold on. Back, back it up. For a I wasn't paying attention, my dude. I was like looking off screen and at other stuff. I will say there will be a lot of deaths in this. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill this thing again in here. Get 
get the free little extra money. Okay. I like that. If they all run at you in an exact straight line, it's so incredibly easy. Okay. Large lurcher clump. Havoc form. Temporarily call upon her Fury's Havoc form to decimate foes. While in this form, Fury inflicts massive amounts of arcane damage. Press LB and RT to unleash Havoc form. One Nephilim respite. Okay, we got two back now. Good. I don't know if that's something I need to increase to get more than two. Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well. Such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, Horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Vulgrim, merchant of the damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Volgrim Plinth. Fury can feed collected souls to Volgrim to earn attribute points. Attribute points can be spent in Fury's character's menu. Pressing start, Volgrim has ac allowed you access to the Serpent Holes, the ancient network of pathways flows throughout the world and beyond, allowing fast travel between plinths. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Show me your wares. Take your time. So, okay, so we can use them. Um, We can use, so it's exactly As like Dark Souls. You can use your souls to buy items, or you can use your souls to, um, to level up. So I definitely want to shatter this. Definitely want to shatter those, these, and this. Okay, so we got thirty-five hundred now. Great. This will be fun for both of us. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use level ups for now. As you wish. This is more time. like um, Lords of the Fallen, where you had to feed souls. I believe you fed or you, you invested souls more than you did like, but you guys know what I mean. Um, As you wish. I'm just gonna <laughs> feed them. What? This will be fun for both of us. As yeah, you win, yeah, so, so we're... As you... Okay, that's good. It leaves us a percentage of the way there. So now... 
Um. So. Hmm. I'm gonna pump health. Two health, one physical. Maybe. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, we're gonna go with the strength boost. And do we want to just go with an arcane boost? I mean, I feel like we should leave. We should not do arcane just yet. I'm gonna go with another health boost because the arcane is when I get better at evading and stuff like that. I think that's when we'll uh, we'll do all that. Vulgrim and his demon tongue. They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Indeed, they do. But despite his thirst for souls, Volgram may be a useful tool on this journey. Um. Alright, well I got up here, I don't really know where it wants me to go now. Like, that's where I need to get, is over there, but can I make it here with a double jump? No. What we got in here? Medium Lurker Clone. Okay, I can go get another level up. Alright. Uh, let's see. Go here. Well, maybe I can't. That's not that much. No, nope, can't actually level up again, but... As you... uh, do make sure they scream, horseman. Trying to figure out... So, like, this is the obvious pet. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that. This is the obvious path right here. Like, this is clearly where you want to go. And then you clearly want to jump up here. But from here... I'm not sure. Because it's like... This is like a... This is like not where you want to go. I don't know. This is probably really easy, and it's something stupid I'm not seeing, but... Oh, I bet you can swing across this. Yep. Okay. Oh, I couldn't get the dodge off. I'm getting better at my dodges. I am getting better at those. Stop giving me lurker clumps, it makes me want to go back. I think I could probably get another level up. Well, that was a terrible dodge on my part. But, it worked. Give me your souls. Okay, I should be able to get another level up, so let's go back down here and get the level up. And I'll probably just put it into... What would you have? This would be fun probably, for the, as you farewell for now. Probably the... just put it into uh, health or physical. I might go physical damage. <laughs> the next two levels I get will go into health and arcane. I think I'm just gonna go like that. So one health and then one of damage or um arcane. And Arcane may be the route that you want to go in the future. Like, by, by the time it's all said and done, I think Arcane is probably the best because you get more damage off, off of counters and stuff like that. And so I think it's probably the way you want to go. I like how, like, all of these different pathways are just blocked off. But I think it's probably an end... In, 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 the spirit of being, like, most optimal, I think that's the way you want to go. <laughs> the length these roots have grown. They seem to have taken over everything. Indeed, mistress. But I think for, like, just simply playing through the game... Okay, we've got the whole world coming. Oh, God, dodge, dodge out of that. No, 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 stop dodging. Stop getting counterattacked. 
That was really bad. The counterattacks almost got me killed because they were, like, jumping me into the middle of the giant cluster's enemies. I see you. You're, you're not, you're not slick, dude. There's a big soul thing up there. I game, please. Thank you. I literally don't trust any of these now. Can I really not make that jump? Okay, so there's one way to go. I want to get up top here, but you, dog. Oh, God. That other guy saw me. Really, you're gonna run? You are the ultimate fool. Get back here. How many souls is this worth? We're at 250. Eh, it was worth some, and it got me a little bit towards my Nephilim's Respite, so that's good. And we got a large lurker, lurcher clump, so that's good. I can definitely not make that jump. This is definitely where we're supposed to go over here. Nothing over there. I'm curious as to who remains here, if anyone. So, we got a checkpoint here. Might as well trade in the souls I got. This will be fun for both of us. As you wish. Farewell for now. <laughs> wow, it's an actual human. Behind me, we once. Let me tend to our uninvited guests. A horseman. Fury, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. And more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> a tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again, with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid. Angel, demon, horseman, even maker. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me. I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand the chance. 
While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use some work? I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulthane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes, I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. The Bridgestone, an enchanted stone etched with ancient maker magic, allows the instantaneous or transportation of any human directly to Haven. So, what is she? You and these humans are welcome here. Wait, so my dude, can you... I thought we were upgrading weapons here. Welcome to Haven. Oh, I guess he's still working on his forge not entirely sure Are there any items around here so we're go we're gonna go kill wrath next but I uh trying to figure out what all this is oh, here's the item that I saw before large lurcher clump check over here real quick so this will be kind of cool i think you'll probably we'll probably fill this whole entire thing up with humans which is really really awesome nothing in here i can finally sleep safe all right let's go back out to volgram because I think I might be able to grab one more level. Maybe. I need to pop my... Oops. Shatter, shatter. Okay, so that gave us 400. Oh, uh, nope, just short. You're short of the level. But, uh... I think this is probably a good place to call it. Um, I'm going to assume we need to go this way. Yeah, this is an elevator down. So, in the next episode, we'll take the elevator down and we'll head on our way to kill Wrath. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!